Hello Retroburn here, aka Odamas, creator from the Horde.blogspot.com. And this is part 7 of our Torchlight 2, of our Let's Play Torchlight 2 HD series. So, resuming, pausing here, so I won't bore you with the loading screen. So, we're back, and we're going to enter. Oh no, it's, it's not really a dungeon, but this passage goes to lead to the frosted hills so pausing ah darn I clicked on it <laughs> anyway sorry it's just going to take a few seconds anyway I'm going to um, invest points in Flame Hammer because with the new coup de gras passive, passive skill, I don't have any problems with the with small mobs, but I'm having problems with uh, bosses, enemy bosses, and champions. Because uh, most of them are don't seem to have resistance to 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 stun attacks. So the little ones I could easily dispatch with my coup de gras passive skill. Like so, there. So every time I stun an enemy. The next time I do an attack, the attack deals three times my strength. So it's really, really lethal. So I have no problem with the smaller enemies just to. So it has become necessary for me to invest in flame hammer so I could so I could nullify the advantage of the bosses not being resistant to stun attacks. Pets are more powerful in large light too. The regeneration rate is just crazy. Fifty-three health, seven armor. Good. 
I still can't equip these. Level 14, the lowest is level 16. So there's Oh, we can't go in yet. that scream. Swords didn't have vocal cords. You have become more skillful. Said I'm going to um, max out flame. Ha invest a point in flame hammer. Eighty-eight percent of weapon DPS. What about this one? As electric. Amplified by 5% for, for every charge. Does not. Okay, nice. Okay, let's take that one. So this is high time to use the tab key so you could alternate.
so this is uh, better for attacking at range. And clearing away mobs, well this one is better for sh uh, enemies with shields. Right? Yep. Just get here. Save that mini boss for later. Doesn't consume many charge. Just that with additional charges. What is that again? Uh, damage is amplified by five percent for every charge. So only use flame hammer if you're surrounded by. So, so I'm um, should we 
we enter. Okay, pausing here. Let's go down. Okay, you descended activating healing bot. Yeah. South. Whoa, 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 whoa. Has increased. That was the most exciting boss fight yes, yet. I've encountered here in Torchlight too. Okay, so still not useful enough for bosses, so still uh, invest more in Ember Hammer. Oh, okay, the damage amplification is only applies if you've reached tier 1. Sorry about that. Okay, so we'll have to max this one out until tier 1. So for now, we'll only use this for breaking shields and then we'll switch back to... Yeah. 
to clear one more mob and then I'll cut it short as we've already exceeded our 20 minute mark. Okay, cool. NPC. Have we met? Nice. So we're not really interested in swords. But it does have a greater DPS. Eight. Nah. This what I have equipped is still more useful. Good to do its mana stealing properties. So we'll just uh, pick the the one with the highest value. Let's just sell this. Okay, so let's cut this short. So, um, this has been Retroburn, aka Ildamus, creator of Imbacore.logspot.com, and you've just seen part 7 of our Let's Play Torchlight 2 series. So, see you in part 8, guys. Happy gaming!